pencil artists today we're going to start a new project and it's actually kind of like two projects in one we will eventually be using warm and cool colors and but today we're going to focus mostly on the composition of the project which is the layout of the things in the picture so we'll be using line and shape to do that and we'll also talk a little bit about balance and all you're going to need is a crayon a pencil and a piece of paper and maybe something round to trace around if you're at home. All right, let's get our things and let's get started. Okay, so I've got the things that I need. A pencil, I've got a black crayon. If you don't have black, try using another dark color like purple, green, or even blue. Something very dark though is what you're looking for, not something like yellow or pink. Um, you also, if if you're at home, you need to find something that's round that you can trace around that will fill most of your paper. Uh, a bowl would work great or a lid to something or even a small uh, plate. So I am going to use that to help me trace around. Now if you're already at school, I may have this part done for you. Um, but we're going to be using this to help us draw two things. We're going to be drawing, and eventually, when it's all done, it'll look something kind of like this, where we have one side of our paper with the sun and the other side of our paper with the moon. And so what I'm going to show you today is how to draw the layout of this picture, compose, make your composition um, so that it looks attractive when we get to adding the color. So. What I'm going to do, I'm going to find kind of guess where the, about the middle of my circle is. I'm going to put a little dot there. So I've got a little dot and the circle's pretty much in the middle. It might not be perfect, but that's okay. What I'm going to do is I am going to draw a line. I like to curve it just a little bit. Now if your curves the other way, that's fine. It just means that your moon will probably be on the other side. And I'm going to start and I'm going to curve up this way. Now this acts as our nose for both the sun and the moon. So since the moon is at night, I thought I would draw a curve line and make it look like it's sleeping. Draw some eyelashes. Now if you have a better way to do that, that is up to you. Um, but this is how I'm going to draw. I like my eye over here to be open because usually in the day you're awake and you're ready to do all sorts of things. I'll put a circle inside. Now if you'd rather draw an oval for that and then a circle, that's fine. Um, I'll draw the eye, since I have eyelashes on one eye, I think I'll draw them on this one. And I am going to draw a mouth going right across the middle going right across that line that goes through the middle. If you would like to draw cheeks here should I do that? Maybe I'll try that, just so you can see something that looks different than the one I was making before. You don't have to do the cheeks. It's just an idea in case you want to try that. Now, we have the moon on this side and the sun on this side. So we're going to draw some lines uh, to fill the rest of the paper, but they're not going to be the same. Just like the moon was different on this side and, and the sun was different on this side, they don't match. This is something we call asymmetry. When we have a picture that's different on one side than the other, it's not balanced. The things are not the same. They're not equal, so we can call that asymmetry. If everything were perfectly the same, we would call it symmetry. All right, so on this side, I'm going to start right where the moon and the sun, just make a vertical line to the edge of the paper. And then on the side where the sun is, I'm going to draw diagonal lines going out to the sides and the top of my paper. Now you don't want to get them too close together. I've left mm, at least two, my fingers are kind of big, so you might want three depending on how big your fingers are, uh, finger spaces apart so that we can draw some designs in there later. Now on this side we're going to do something different because it's nighttime. The sun was shining out from the sun, and I think at night it's a little calmer. So I'm going to draw some curvy waves. Start on the side of the paper, and then when you get to the circle, you stop. Don't make the line too curvy. You're going to be tracing over these lines later with your crayon. 
which is what I'm going to do right now. So I, it doesn't matter where you start um, doing your tracing, but the thing you want to do is make sure you're pushing firmly and you're getting right on top of those pencil lines. So one thing that helps me push um, a little firmer, I'm using an old crayon here, but you could use a new one too, um, is to put my fingers really close to the end and that way I can push a little harder. And if I didn't get right on the pencil line, I just go over it again and make that line a little thicker. That's okay. So I'm going to trace over all the lines on the face so you can see them better. I'm going to do the smile. Since I did cheeks, I have to do cheeks. Now you could have added eyebrows on your son if you wanted to. I decided not to because when I have the eye closed over here, it looks a little strange to have a curve line above that. But you, you're creative, and if you can find a better way to draw your mouth, just make sure it goes all the way across. Or your eyes. Oops, I almost forgot the eyelashes. All right, I'll show you what this looks like when I'm done. All right, now I've finished tracing over all of my pencil lines. I think it looks very nice. So what I need to do now is I need to make sure my name is on here and my code. If you're at home, don't worry about a code, um, but do sign your artwork. Um, now, I don't want you to add a whole bunch of extra designs in here today. And the reason for that is next time I'm going to show you how to add color. And we do that with marker. Uh, I was using Crayola markers, but any water-based marker, not a permanent marker, um, will work. So we use that to add color, but then we also do something a little bit different uh, to finish it off. So I can't wait to show you how to do that next week. We'll use warm colors and cool colors. If you don't have markers and you're at home, um, I can show you another way too. So I'm signing off for today. I hope you're having a great day. Stay creative, everybody. Bye.